Well, the kids asked me what I wanted to do for Father's Day, so I said, let's take out the canoe. I got this old beater canoe. It's an old grooming canoe. I paid 75 bucks for it. So we took it out to the local reservoir, and I was amazed by how many trees are completely submerged by the water. We had a lot of rain this year. And these are eucalyptus trees, and there's other species of trees that are in the water. There's you know, the quite trees. a few oak trees, but these eucs have been around for a long time. So every year that the water level rises, they're completely submerged. How can they survive? And these trees are out there quite a bit. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that the, there's probably 15 or 20 feet of water in this particular tree. This one's out there a ways. Um, I don't understand. There was also some closer to the shore. But, you know, how do these trees survive? Hopefully they'll stay. I was you know, totally blown away by the, you know, the, the fact that they're underwater for such a long period of time. Oh, I love that hat, huh? <laughs> I had a great time. I really enjoyed it out here. The kids wanted to go check out the trees and gave me an opportunity to show them things like some of the insects that are on the trees. The, the eucalyptus lerpsilids were in full form on the leaves. They, they formed little tiny cones and little white bits on the, the leaves. There was also evidence of the eucalyptus tortoise beetle, a lot of chewed leaves. Uh, but believe it or not, the trees didn't look bad. I, I was, I was kind of blown away. You got the most comfortable spot anyway. So I did my fair share of paddling. I let the kids do as much as they wanted to. How do you like those paddles? I made those. Um, each one is a different kind of wood. I think the leaves on that Trent's up in the front is probably the crudest of the three. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I got this old canoe uh, years ago. It used to be a, a canoe that was used for harvesting garbage out of the Guadalupe River. There was three of them. They would tow them down the river and people would wade in the water and fill them up with all kinds of scrap metal and bicycles and garbage. So that poor old canoe has got more dents in it and more holes in it and it's been patched more times and than I could possibly imagine. Um, but it's floating. I think there was a few little leaks in there, but uh, it, it wasn't sinking by any means. <laughs> What do you expect for 75 bucks? <laughs> it's a beater canoe, and I don't really care about damaging it, so it's probably got 75 bucks worth of aluminum value if I ever have to get rid of it. So the kids wanted to climb the trees. You know, Trent really, really wanted to climb, you know, this bigger one here. So we are primates after all, so I encourage him. I always encourage my kids to climb, you know, whether it's rock climbing or tree climbing. Um, I think it's it's natural, and, and I don't think enough parents encourage their kids to do things that are a little bit outside their comfort zone. You know, kids naturally want to climb trees, but if, if the parents say, no, 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 it's dangerous, you might fall, you might this, you might that, um, you're shortchanging the kids on their innate ability to be the primates that, that we are. I mean going back in time you know it's yeah, <laughs> it's uh it's a pretty natural thing for for people to climb trees and you know not so much anymore uh, Trent got up there and I'm kind of kidding around with him telling you're him dying, to jump, you're but to jump in, aren't you? probably not a smart thing to do but I like to egg him on anyway now if I was a kid at that age no I would have probably done it yeah. stupidly you, I but I would have done <laughs> And if he would have done it and got away with it, I would have said, great, but, you know, you got to go down and check out what's under underneath. Who knows, there might be a short, broken-off tree right underneath this one. But we had a lot of fun. I, I mean, the water was great. Unfortunately, there's uh, no swimming allowed in this reservoir. So, we, uh, while we wanted to swim, the water was just a perfect temperature. Now, this tree was a little different. This one was really close to shore and uh, it seemed like a more appropriate climbing tree. Both of the kids got out on this one, both Callie and Trent. Callie's fresh out of college. She got her nursing degree and she's home now for the summer applying for jobs. She's doing what she calls adulting. <laughs> 
Trent's only 17. He's going to be a senior in high school this next year. But, uh, you know, just going off and doing something simple on Father's Day on Sunday was exactly what I needed. But I can't help myself. I'm always drawn to the trees. And the kids seem to, to take all the stuff I tell them. You know, they, they listen to everything I say. And um, I ask them, you know, sometimes years later, what is this? And I'm always surprised that they, they often... You know, remember even some of the more complicated tree names. So it was pretty warm out there. It was probably 80, 85 degrees or so. Um, the wind was blowing, so it wasn't too bad. Trent just had to keep going and going and going and going. Callie's pretty brave. She uh, she's good on the rope swing. She's you know she's very very athletic. As you can see, she likes to hang around in the trees. <laughs> Scared you, huh? Do it again. I want to get a picture. Well, this isn't really a. Uh, uh, video on trees but I, I did talk about these eucalyptus trees I don't have any answers I don't know why they survive out here so I asked Siri I went to the internet and and uh, googled right, um, trees with their roots underwater and of course there's a lot of species of trees that can live in the water you know the, How's it feel? the, the mangroves and, and many tropical trees that live along waterways but these are eucalyptus trees and they're not native to this area at all. And if you think about the part of the world where they, they do come from naturally, they're kind of a dry environment tree. So why they survive out here for as long as they have, uh, it just it totally surprises me. So one of the things I did read is that uh, trees can survive up to three weeks if their roots are... This has been for months and months and months. You know, sometimes half the year or more, the, this tree has its roots under the water, completely under the water. The trunk raised. Ah. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.